Shimmer Girl Talks. Today's topic, the importance of men being in the home, the father in the home. I wanted to show you all this video in real time and I'm going to put the original video in the description box to make sure that that person gets their, the credit, so fair use. So this man and his baby mama or ex-wife is going back and forth about how he is choosing to discipline his son. And I'm going to share it right here. It's not a problem. It's not a problem at all. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Come, on. Come on. It's not a problem. Every time he come with me and I text him about something, he want to get in his feelings and shoot you a text message. Okay. I want to go back home. All right. But the thing is, you run your house like a boot camp. That's why your other kids ain't happy there. No, I run, not used no, to that. No, I run my house with structure and discipline. That's what I run my household with. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that you're not doing a good job of that, but that's what I run my house with. And when he get in his feelings, he want to come home because I chastise him. Right, we don't, but he don't do that there. I, I do everything here. I clean his room. I do the dishes. I clean up. He don't do that. That's why he don't ever want to be there. He don't want to be at your house because you run that shit like a fucking boot camp, you, you man. You can't be serious. You gonna, you, how you going to raise a young man like that? He ain't gonna be able to bed for himself. Cook, clean, mow the grass. He ain't gonna be able to do none of that shit. He can do Change other stuff. He can do other stuff. Who's teaching him? I'm teaching him. How, how you... He still got to learn how to be compassionate towards others and be nice to others. Listen. You're doing too much on him, I'm man. I'm not doing too much. You're raising. So at one point, she says, she tells the father that he's too hard on her son. And, you know, and so he rebutted by saying, I'm offering structure and what well, structure i can't think of the other word so this is why it's important because men offer a different type of discipline and love than a mother does we as women we we discipline but we also nurture and we love and we tend to do it in a softer way boys particularly young males they need the strength of their father and the discipline type of love and structure from a father and and i wanted to go off on a quick segue and i've mentioned it in my um videos before you have so many black women who want to divest because men of other races are allegedly so much better they're not men are men are men but they say that men of other races are so much better than black men because they're taught to be men and they know how to treat their women and all of that type of stuff. But you see this black mother, I'm assuming it's a black mother because you don't see her, and how she is fighting every step of the way, the father being a dad to his son. And then at one point, you know, the man, um, well, you, you'll end up seeing the whole video. You know, he said that, you know, you're gonna make, you know, this young man soft and, and, and gay. And so she, chimes in and says, well, you already have a gay son. And so he said, but I didn't raise him, you know, so, but that's neither here nor there. I just wanted to make that point within this video if you guys decide to watch it. But I'm kind of in a, agreement with that. I think that a lot of young males of the alphabet community, just a guess, I didn't say all, are probably seeking male validation because they didn't get it from their dad. And I realized a lot of them did grow up in a home with the father and they still turned out that way. And I remember there was this one man on RuPaul's Drag Race and so he's in the pool and the first words out of his mouth, this is a grown man, is daddy. Now I realized he might have meant it in a daddy type of scenario, but we won't go there. But I just thought that this was interesting how this woman is fighting every step of the way, this man being a dad to her son. And this is where a lot of women make mistakes when it comes to their children. You know, they totally undermine the father and his role in the child's life. 
And another point that I wanted to make, I'm sorry, I totally forgot what I was going to say, but I'll just reiterate. So you have a lot of these women who want to run to men of other races because those men are doing it right. But you see this woman, she, she's raising a future son, husband, beta, a man who's not going to want to take, who's, who could potentially make children and walk away from them, those children. And this father in the video said, you know what? I grew up without my father. So I don't want to put that on my child. So men, you guys have to be, since, since women want me to, to blame men so much, because I've had women directing that at me in my videos, leave these chicken heads alone. Leave the chicken heads alone. Men, you, you have to be careful with the type of women that y'all lay up with. But see, here's the thing. This is what I'm finding. A lot of women are choosing bum behind men. So they can't be saved from themselves. Now, I'm not saying that this man is. From what I can see, he's not. He's trying to be a father to his son. And see, that's something else I was going to say. Children know how to pit parents against each other. So when a child sees the parents not on the same page, they and they can come right into that crack and fracture everything. That's why it's important for, you know, you as parents to be on the same page with one another when it comes to your children being a united front. And if you're not in the same home or if, if you are in the same home, even if you don't agree with your husband, for example, you at least out of the earshot of your children Go to your husband. You know what? Maybe we should try to do it this way. I don't agree with you. You know, blah, 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 whatever. But don't let that child know that there is a fracture between you two when it comes to them. Because they're going to play you guys like a fiddle. Now that young boy, he needs the leadership of his father right now. And I'm sure that there are a lot of young men who are his age who wishes they had a dad that loved and cared enough for them to install structure into their lives. The prison system is full of young men for a reason. And I'm again, I'm pretty sure, you know, I wish I had grew up with a father in my life, you know, because fathers are important to girls as well. But that's a different topic. This was about this young man. And I wish that I could have found this one video. It was a woman and she had uh, a few of her children behind her. And I can't remember how many boys was in the line behind her, but they were definitely under the age of 12 twerking. What is a 12 year old boy doing twerking? It was obscene. And this is why it needs to be the masculine parent and a feminine parent. So there is balance for these children. But so many women fight against it. But so again, I just wanted to show something in real time of a woman fighting her husband or her ex-boyfriend or ex-boy husband or whatever, his structure, his structure and order for their child. So I want you guys to chime in and tell me what you think. How should he handle this going forward? I'm asking the men and the women can chime in too. But um, that was my topic for today. Please make sure you like, share, subscribe, check out my other videos before you do. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.